My name is Blaine Shaw and I'm the Commerce Development Manager at Pierasini. We're um, a fashion accessories brand based here in Bangor. We have been in business for around 20 years. My father started the company, initially buying products from Italy uh, with my mum. My mum and me design and develop the collection. Hats, scarves, gloves, wraps, and handbags, beachwear, every accessory that you can think of. We are exporting throughout Europe, from France to Spain to Italy and throughout the UK. We'd been exporting to Europe for a number of years and we were really looking for the next big opportunity to take the business forward. One of our biggest customers actually, um, they sell to cruise ships globally and we have a very good relationship with them and, and we were chatting with them and they said that our, our products were tailor-made for the US. That really got us thinking about the, the vast opportunities that exist there. With the US, they're all English speaking. It's, it's a huge population, it, it makes a big difference. Well, the, I guess the obvious challenge is geographical. You know, we're here and they're at least a seven and a half hour flight away. So initially we had challenges uh, in transporting our goods to them cost effectively. Since then we've, we've uh, opened a premises in the US uh, which, is, which has greatly helped uh, in terms of logistics. There's a, there's a great deal of options. Each state over there has different rules and different regulations. So it's, it's, it was important for us to do a lot of research into, into where was the right place to set up. Uh, not just in terms of who had the best regulations, but obviously in terms of location, what was going to work for us. L leading on from that, you've got the, the, the time difference. You've, you've, I think, four different time zones within the U in the mainland US anyway. Customers of ours on the West Coast are coming in as we're sort of finishing at five o'clock here. So we've had to adapt to that. Since we started selling in the US, we've been growing ever, ever since then, um, even before we opened our warehouse facility there. The sheer size of the country is phenomenal and we weren't, weren't covering nearly enough ground there. So as a result of that, we've taken on uh, a lot of new sales representatives and are covering a lot more of the territory. We've, on top of that, we've employed two US members of staff within our warehouse. And each year with our uh, warehouse there, we're, getting, we're improving our stock availability and our processes and operations and that. The result of that is that in, in the past year, we've increased our turnover by 70%, which is, which is great. And we're continuing to grow and there's still room for improvement. If, if we were to go back, uh, we certainly would have improved our market research. We find that, that our customers are, are willing to pay more for, for our products, so perhaps we've undervalued our product a little within the US. My three tips for anyone wanting to export to the US would be to firstly understand the, the US market and its sheer size and diversity. And secondly would be to choose the right location and be aware of the different uh, tax, legal, logistical and uh, financial implications of each location and finally it, it would be to employ the right people that, that share the same passion as you do for your brand.